Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial, that's exactly what I am, who likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edited, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and... What the hell do I know? So today, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I'm watching the 1989 Roadhouse. It's been up on polls on Patreon so many times and always loses, and I never know why, but I think my patrons finally voted for it to win. Number one, because I do love Patrick Swayze, and y'all were reminded of that in Tu Wong Fu. Also because I talk about how I watch Family Guy literally every day to fall asleep. Peter Griffin, the main character, always references Roadhouse, and he always does a kick. Uh, he's like, Roadhouse, Roadhouse, Roadhouse. So, I feel like the patrons finally were like, okay, let's, okay, if Ashley's gonna watch Family Guy every single day of her freaking life, then she needs to get this reference. So that's how we ended up here today. I'm excited about it. Um, Love Patrick Swayze and everything I've seen him in so far. I think, I think, I think I've seen some comments where I might get some Patrick Swayze booty in this. Y'all know I live for a, anyways. Ashley, you want to stay monetized. You need to watch your mouth. Okay, we got the five head on display. We got Raise the Roof, Richard Simmons on the shirt. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1989 Roadhouse. Stand. Is this gonna be a musical? I don't think it's a musical. Okay. Patrick Swayze, we already knew that. I don't know anybody else who's gonna be in it though. I ain't gotta say it, you know what I'm thinking. Sam Elliott, shut up. Shut your mouth. Oh my god. And can I handle Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott in the same movie? We gonna find out. <gasps> Look at him. With this, I don't know, is that a mullet? I don't know how I feel about his hair in this movie yet. Sliced him! No knives. It's gotta be a fair fight. What are them britches, Patrick? Okay, well, I was kind of hoping for a really cool fight, but... I'm gonna guess the people on the stage now are the Jeff Healy band, because I don't know who those guys are. Oh, wasn't ready for blood! I have a little club outside of Kansas City called the Double Doos. I cannot handle him sewing this wound up right now, and this guy just talking to him. It's the kind of place that they sweep up the eyeballs after closing. Don't want to go there! No thanks! 500 a night cash, you pay all medical expenses. Wow! What a killing! But like, show. at what expense though? Like, at what cost? I've got your plane ticket. I don't fly. Too dangerous. Uh, statistics say otherwise. I thought you'd be... bigger. It's not the size that matters, it's what you do with what you got. What I look like, a valet? Keep it, it's yours. <laughs> you just gave him a car? <laughs> Ah, hell yeah, let's pop in this good cassette tape. <laughs> you know what, this almost kind of reminds me, like, the bikers and the dusty and the fact that this is like a bar type thing reminds me of, un um, From Dust Till Dawn. Hold on, what other movie have I watched where there was a band on stage and they had the chicken wire up? I get off at two and, uh, love to get you off about a half an hour after that. <laughs> Shut up. That's smooth though. <gasps> Look at that dress! You know she ain't got on no undies. She going straight commando in that dress. Gee, listen, if you're gonna throw a body, like make sure it's not gonna knock 27 other people over. Morgan was born an asshole and just grew bigger. <laughs> Somebody drew a little butthole. 
for a great Buick. No, that solves your graffiti problem completely. I love that random guy who's just been dancing his ass off with no shirt on. Like, hell yeah, guy, party. Blood on the floor in this joint every night. Is he for real blind, I guess? Okay, so Dalton has really made a, a name for himself and it's gotten around. For 20 bucks, you can kiss him. Are you hoeing her out? I mean, I guess if she's a prostitute, then yeah, maybe. Are we about to get titties? <laughs> so he got a free feel, alright. Oh, I only thought the one-on-one -on -one fights were rough. Now the whole bar is fighting? You wanna step in? You wanna do something? Or are you just surveying the scene right now? Because dude's paying you to clean up the place. The women get in on this too? Okay, this place is wild. Now I see why the stage has uh, chicken wire around it. That place is a mess! Are you sure? You should ask for more money after seeing all this, honestly. You know, I heard you had balls big enough to come in a dump truck. Opinions vary. I have no words. That left me speechless. He gave away a car, had an extra car, and now he's looking for another car? She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> I would like to know that man's story, because I feel like he could tell me some shit. <laughs> You the one who's got a room to rent? Come on. Mm, what if he's a serial killer? Because I don't know. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see this room. Oh, it's cute! Oh my god! This man could make a fortune in today's time, make this a little Airbnb. Could you imagine? With the bay windows and that pond? Oh, stop. He would make a fortune. No conditioned air. No tolerance for the fragrance of nature. For the fragrance of nature. What a way to put it. To protect my investment, I've hired the best damn cooler in the business. Cooler? Like bouncer? Morgan, you're out of here. What the fuck are you talking about? Your, your first, your first, your first thing as boss, you, you fire that guy? You're selling booze here, not drugs. Okay, valid. Good point. Good point. Anybody else here dealing? Well, there ain't gonna be honest about it. All you have to do is follow three simple rules. What are they? Never underestimate your opponent. Expect the unexpected. Okay. That was kind of two in itself. Be nice. Come on, honey. Yeah, just be nice. He calls you a cocksucker. I want you to be nice. Absolutely I am. Thanks. <laughs> and called a cocksucker in personal? No. If he doesn't know you personally, don't take it personal. I wonder if somebody calls my mama a whore. Is she? Don't be upset if it ain't true. And if it's true, why are you mad? You are the bouncers, I am the cooler. What's the difference? I don't know the difference. I've never heard of the term cooler before. I love that he's blind and plays the electric guitar almost like a steel guitar, which is very cool and neat. Um, sir, Mr. Man, stealing. Goodness gracious. Oh, 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 see, I don't, I, you gotta be nice. I couldn't be. You gotta be. Oh, oh, you pull a blade. What, 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 um, I can't be nice if you pull a blade. Broke the table. Oh, she's like getting him, getting him. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, um. But I'm on my break. <laughs> He's costing you about 150 a night. Holy shit! Oh no! But I mean, I guess that's what he prepared for. That's why he bought like a fixer upper, maybe? Turn out the light so you can watch. Just like Jimmy Stewart in Rear Window. Oh my god, Diddy's out and everything! Like, Patrick Swayze is so hot. Like, him leaning up against that wall right there. Are you kidding me? Morning, I. Brought you some breakfast. Why? <gasps> Patrick Swayze ass. Save girl. Save girl. Oh my god. Also, I swear to God, if you watch the intro to Two Wong Fu, you see a little bit of his pee pee. Just the perfect Airbnb. I swear on my life. 
Wow, and he does not care. What a douche. No, I pay as I go. <laughs> so he already knows that you're in deep shit too, buddy. It's an ugly woman. Don't ever do that. It just takes the energy right out of it. <laughs> Found somebody <laughs> mugger she was. I can't. Oh, yeah, you look real tough with your cross earring. <laughs> All right, well, with nature, focus on your chi. I respect it. Whatever centers you, grounds you. You know what? This movie could just be a whole, like, two hours of him doing that and the camera just rotating around his body. I'd still watch it. I love how he plays guitar. That's so interesting to me. I'll explain it to you. Oh, shut up, shithead. <laughs> Pat McGurn is in the employee of Mr. Wesley, his uncle. Oh, so you're a Nepo kid. That's a big ass knife, dude! What are you afraid of? Me? Uh no, the six inch blade, bro. What do you want a kiss and make up? How's that for a makeup? Oh yeah, I could probably get a few punches in if somebody else held him down. Man, you're bleeding a lot, buddy. You might need to I don't know, take a second, check your ribs out. I'm glad he went to a proper hospital to get sewn up this time and he didn't do it himself. Thirty one broken bones. Thirty one shrooms and four stainless steel screws. That's My goodness, man, how are you still alive? Do you enjoy pain? Pain don't hurt. You're into what you're into. Carry your medical records around with you? No thanks. I cannot watch that happen. File says you've got a degree from NYU. Philosophy. For real? Man's search for faith, that sort of shit. <laughs> well, when you word it like that, it doesn't sound like you're that into it. Me and her kind of have the same glasses. Kind of. Not really, now that I look in the viewfinder. Well. You know, for that line of work, I thought you'd be bigger. Everybody's all about saying that to him. Speaking of bigger, look at them tires. I can't get over the bright red suspenders on that guy. Go on, run to your uncle with all the money with your tail tucked between your legs. To decide which one of you wants to say I'm sorry. Red suspenders. I'm sorry, boss. Called it. You are a messy bleeder. You're an awful boss. And you know why? Because I like you. I hope that man never likes me. I don't want to be liked like that. Oh, no. What did, what did auto repairman do to them? Every week. Every week? So this is just an awful town in general. It's not just the bar. It's like the town. All the businesses in town belong to it. Oh, so he gets money from everybody. Does a hobby horse have a wooden dick? <laughs> a simple yes would... A simple yes would have sufficed. Holy shit, that's Sam Elliott! Let me tell you something. This is gonna be extremely graphic, so if there's any kids around, don't let them be. This Sam Elliott right here with this long shaggy hair, this little scruffy, that mustache. Listen. Clean up on all my panties. Let me tell you that right now. Oh, look at him! Shut up. I love him. Okay. I asked in the intro, when I saw Sam Elliott's name popped up, I asked, would I be able to handle a movie that has Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott in it together? The answer is no. I, I can't, actually. Oh, they have a lot of faith in Dalton because they took down the chicken wire. Could you be shocked? Go to my place and fuck? Well, I don't know if he would, but I am. I cannot take that man's truck seriously. Like, he drives this unironically. Like, how tiny is your pee pee to drive that kind of truck? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no. <laughs> Broke his ankle in the boot. <gasps> is that his little nurse boo? Oh, not a good first impression outside of the emergency room. I mean, unless she's into a guy who can kick ass, then maybe she'll be about it. Biggest guy in the world. You smash his knee, he'll drop like a stone. Yeah, yep. People need their knees. She's so tiny. Where are her organs? Where are they? 
I keep talking, you're gonna go off thinking I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Tonight's red. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Hey, spice it up this time. Put a little stop sign through the car. I like it. Original. 10 out of 10. Oh, picnic table looking ass dress. I just spit everywhere. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. So that's his signature sign off. He just kind of does this weird little salute. Oh, who's the little chicken dick now? Get into it, girl. She got beat. Oh, Patrick Swayze is not having this. I'll tell you that right now. I can't listen to that crap. It's got no heart. You're one to talk about heart. Right, J.C. Penny is coming here because of me. Oh wow, not J.C. Penny. That's wild. You're gonna have a Sears and Roebuck show up too. I have a cousin in Memphis. Tells me you killed a man down there. Oh no, is this the dark past? I guess he wants to own the bar so he can own everything, everything in the town. I guess. Hey, it's really coming together. You should be proud of yourself. Now we're running out of booze. You just buy more alcohol. Why won't they deliver? Oh, because Mr. Butthead Man is, like, drawing him out. <gasps> Your little girlfriend was waiting on you! Stop! Mr. Place? Up there. Girl, don't let the outside fool you. Inside, big bougie. Big fans. My... Oh, they go. They go do it. They go do it. Good for them. Do I get to see more Patrick Swayze ass? That's my question. I cannot handle Patrick Swayze in this little sweater vest moment. Oh my god, her titties are out. Alright, well, oh shit, are we gonna get pee pee? You know what she hasn't said that she said in the hospital after stitching him up? She hasn't looked at him and said, I thought you'd be bigger. I tell you that. I want to point that out right now. You want to know what's kind of weird? Is that, um, I'll sit here and I'll make these comments during these sex scenes with, you know, you know, a few thousand strangers on the internet. But anytime I'm watching a show with my mother and a sex scene comes on, I'm like, oh, heavens. We sinning? We sinning. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Tell me all about it. I never just sat butt naked on a roof and smoked a cigarette before, but honestly, it looks kind of peaceful. You could be crippled if you don't slow down. Okay, well, that's a mood killer, homie. <laughs> you know what could have been real spicy? If y'all did the deed on the roof. Hey, look! They're gonna do it! Okay, good. I'm glad y'all took my advice. <laughs> you got a woman up there with you? Maybe. If you're smart, you'd pitch your tent. <laughs> oh, he did. Look at that place really coming together. They'd be painting the walls. They got some plants up by the stage. New flooring. Love this for them. It is really coming together. They got little uniforms with their red shirts and their little khakis. Looking like they work at a Target. You know who got a thing for Elizabeth Clay? Brad Wesley. Of course. Of course he did. Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Remember that movie? I can't remember which one it was. But Sam Elliott had the t-shirt on that said free mustache rides. Because I remember. <laughs> double douche. Not double douche. This guy really thinks he's tough looking. Oh, you do look tiny when he picks you up like that. You got a skinny little runt named Dalton here. Uh, currently kicking ass outside. What's going on, Mio? <laughs> Mind your own business, Dad. I mean, I mean, I'd call him Daddy. I sure ain't gonna show you my dick. And why not? <laughs> oh man, this is the review. This is the movie where I'm going right to hell. Express elevator all the way down. Not the hole in the windshield. I got also, are there not me. police in this movie? It's a, or, or in this town? Are there not policemen? I guess it would probably be in, in Wesley's pocket, probably. So it doesn't really matter. I'll show you a scarf. I'll show you one I'm real sentimental about. Though. <laughs> y'all saw me get too excited. That's what y'all just saw. Y'all saw me get too excited. That's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. Where I tell you what's for myself. Oh man, to be to be a woman. 
that has already had sex with Patrick Swayze and is currently dancing with and being hit on by Sam Elliott. I could never. She's one of God's favorites and I'm real mad at it. Excuse me, gentlemen. Listen, I'd have to go to the bathroom after dancing with Sam Elliott too, girl. Ain't no worries. Entirely too many brains to have an ass like that. <laughs> away from Memphis. Oh, did he love someone in Memphis? Never told you she was married. <gasps> you can die or you can kill the motherfucker. It sounds like you made the choice to keep you alive. It doesn't sound like it was your fault. If she never told you, you didn't know. That is so wild. That is so cool. I just asked about the police in this county, in this city. <gasps> Holy. Because he's dating her and they're taking it out on red. It makes sense that a place, that an auto parts place would explode. Get those firemen in here. I want to buy them a drink. I don't like him. Rosie can dance, honey. Elvis? Did she just ask permission to dance? Why is she with him? Leave him. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Hey, now, you didn't let the other lady dance on the table, so why are you letting her? Also, never would have thought I would see Sam Elliott in a man bun. Your titty's about to pop out, girl. Is she gonna take her dress off in front of God and everybody? I mean, true though. True though. Are you about to fight him with a pool stick? Honestly, kind of cool. Honestly. I am here for all of this, but I could not unsee them looking like Target employees. So it's like this man stole a pool stick from the sporting goods section and now Target employees are kicking his ass. Okay. Okay. Cool. Very neat. Honestly, I'm very surprised he could high kick like that in blue jeans. Um, continuity error. When he was standing at the bar, he was wearing one of the red worker shirts. And now he's not. This is a totally different outfit. Your ass is mine, boy. Your ass is grass and I'm a mow it. Okay, well that's a fun mailbox with the little rims. He's got the sheriff and the whole police force in his pocket, for Christ's sakes. I'm so glad I asked that question earlier. Got my answer. That's what it is. It's made you an abuser. Oh, now he's gonna buy the car dealership out from under that guy because he supports Red. <laughs> oh my God, he, th th I was incorrect, I was wrong. Why be in that town anymore? Simply move, simply leave. And if this is how he treats the current companies in his town, you're sure as shit not gonna get that JC Penney's or that Sears and Robux there. You got insurance, don't you? I sure should hope so. This is like Karate Kid meets Rocky meets what Samurai Cop wanted to be. Does that make sense? In a good way. I'm not knocking any of them. I'm just saying, I feel like it's a mesh of all of them. Maybe I ought to kick your ass. <laughs> hey, don't fight you guys. And taking until somebody takes him. Well, then do it. He's an older man, just to the kneecap. Well, who's gonna save him from you? Excuse me? What just happened there? Oh, that old man ain't done nothing but raise his horses and have an Airbnb before it was a thing. Okay, we gotta kick that old man's ass. We just simply gotta, he's gonna get an advanced membership on his AARP, that's what he's about to get. Fine, you get off of me. <laughs> He's fine. Okay, let me tell you something. Wesley or whoever, he might have the police in his back pocket, but ain't no way you can convince me that he has insurance companies in his back pocket. Ain't no way he could also pay off insurance companies. Oh, what you gonna do with that your pool stick, buddy? You know, I will say that these are some really fun fight scenes, though. He doesn't want to kill you, dude. He's already killed a man once. He doesn't want to, but he'll do it again. That's a line. That's something to say, I guess. <gasps> oh, go break his leg in a tree. He 
really did rip out a man's throat. He really did that shit. Girl, I know you a doctor. You ain't saving him. You ain't saving him. That shit is wild, bro. Wade or Elizabeth. One of them dies. <gasps> Third option, Wesley. Uh, have to flip a coin. I'd sure like to tell you how it turned out. He's not gonna say? Ah! I know it's gonna be the girl. That's what the bad guys always do. They always go for the girl. Oh, who did this to you, baby? We're out of here. That boy, we Listen, sometimes you gotta draw a line. Sometimes you just gotta leave. The man is crazy. And you're not. Okay, rude. Rude. He's crazy about you. What is the Uncle Sam thing in the corner? I want more information about that thing. I don't know what it is. Wake the fuck up. We're out of here. <laughs> In CP. Roadhouse, zero out of five stars. They killed Sam Elliott. Rosebud. <laughs> Can we kill Wesley now? Can we kill Wesley now? Because he killed one of my future ex-husbands and I'm real mad about it. <laughs> Right through the fence. Whoa, whoa. Um, okay, so Patrick is clearly not in that car. Oh, I love it. I'm so ready for this. So ready. He's already inside the house? Clearly is. Too dead. <laughs> Rip his throat out. Oh, the human body shield is always a good choice. Okay, an all-white linen moment. Very interesting to wear <laughs> for this occasion. Are the bad guys accidentally going to shoot each other? You know, because Rhett's suspender guy is pretty nervous. So he'll round the corner and he'll think it's Patrick Swayze, but it's actually going to be Wesley. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, I love that. The only thing that's missing is your ass. I've seen his ass. It's a pretty nice ass. I'd hang it on my wall, too. Not the spear. I never would have saw this coming. Hey, come on, you can't be tired. I know you're shot in the arm, you can't be tired. Wade said you you lack the stamina. I need you to pull from the depths. Here we go. He did say the knee. He did say the knee earlier. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Rip his throat out. He's going to grab the gun and shoot you. What a dumb move. Red! I told you the white linen outfit was a bad choice. Red suspender man, you're not gonna take up for your boss? You little coward? Oh, you little traitor! You little, you little so and so! You see anything, Tinker? Did you? A polar bear fell on me. Shut up! Shut up! Get into it. You know the fish gathering around just looking. And it's over? Let's talk about it. Why is the movie called Roadhouse? That's my first question. <laughs> I do want to look up the continuity issue. I wrote down an hour and 19 minutes in. This is very important. He's, at a, he's in a red shirt at the cafe with Sam Elliott when he's like, Hey, you killed that man. He didn't mean to. He had a gun in your face. Red shirt there. Right? Doctor's gonna go home. Let me see. Is he wearing red shirt or not? Honestly, it's not even worth this much effort at this point. Oh, no. See, there he is. Nope, he was never wearing a red shirt. Okay, my bad. Not a continuity error. I am crazy. All right, let me tell you something. Patrick Swayze butt. Big fan. Big fan. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. It was very much... Oh, let me tell you something. I stand by everything I said about Sam Elliott. Stand by it attractive man. Seeing him kick ass, love that for me. Patrick Swayze, love him. This movie, I wouldn't watch it again tomorrow because it felt like a little slow. I don't know why it did. It just felt a little slow like in the first 45-ish minutes. It just felt a little too slow, but I'm so happy to watch it. When Why is it called Roadhouse? Why in Family God is Peter? I mean, I guess because Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse kicked a lot. And so, so now when Peter Griffin kicks, he says Roadhouse. Plenty of things to look at, if you know what I mean, in this movie. 
wouldn't watch it again tomorrow, but I would watch it again with somebody else who wanted to watch it. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. Love seeing Sam Elliott. Let me tell you something. When Sam Elliott went to unzip them britches. Mm, don't even get me started. All right, four out of five stars for Roadhouse. Glad I watched it. Had a good time. Felt a little slow in the beginning. Was very upset that Sam Elliott got got. Really thought he was just taking a little nippity nap on the bar. He was not. He got stabbed. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because coming up this Friday, we got The Wolverine from 2013. Thanks to Bleeding Green. Wrap it up July. We're going to watch a movie in honor of Alan Arkin called Little Miss Sunshine. So that's what's coming up for July. Don't know what's coming up for August yet. So like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-verse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.